We're back here on Earth. A great evening ahead, but showers are also in the weekend forecast as we take a live look outside. Gorgeous outside. Yeah. Mary Kay is here now with a check of our forecast. Mary a Kay. Little update on those two storms we've been tracking for the weekend. The first one just not looking that impressive. So from it, we only see a slight chance, about a 20% chance of a late afternoon sprinkle of rain. Both days in the mid 60s. Sunday looks to be dry with the main rain event moving in Sunday night into Monday. Right now it is 59 degrees waiting on that sunset at 606. Our high today was 59 and that's where we stand right now at O'Hare. It's 52 though in Waukegan, a bit of a lake breeze happening there. It's 60 in McHenry, 61 in Joliet and 60 degrees right now in Kankakee. So going through the evening, we're going to clear out. Winds will be light, stars will be bright, temperatures will be falling into the mid 40s for overnight lows. So Futurecast is showing that we stay high and dry through the night and then tomorrow we start watching the cloud deck roll in from the west, but we're dry in the morning, dry in the midday. The only shower chance and the best chance of it is going to be closer to that I-39 corridor as we get into the sunset time frame and into the night. But as you can see, nothing well organized. Here's midnight and then on Sunday morning, everything gets out of the way so you can enjoy a decent day, but I think we will pick up a bit of a lake breeze. Winds will be off the lake at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So what that's going to do is create some cooling for the kickoff. So even though temperatures inland will be in the mid 60s, I'm I'm expecting 56 degrees at Soldier Field just because of the northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that first front not really tacking on a lot of rain to it. Again, a 20% chance we spend Sunday between the two systems and then Sunday night, but especially Monday. This one gets rolling. It may start to make a connection with our new tropical storm, which is in the Gulf. All the shower and thunderstorm activities well east of the storm center. Nestor is zipping to the north and east very quickly at 22 miles per hour hour, but we could see tropical storm force winds for sure from the big bend of Florida all the way through the panhandle and then pushing through Georgia and through the Carolinas before pulling away from shore as we get into the nighttime hours on Sunday. So rain amounts will be most impressive there for Tallahassee, even Jacksonville picking up heavy rain and then going into South Carolina, Charleston and Columbia also getting that heavy rain as it rides along the eastern seaboard. So a little hint of that moisture could ride into our system for Sunday night into Monday. So if we had to pick a better of the two systems, I'm more impressed with the second one. And now, Brad and Erica, it looks like it's going to be Sunday night into Monday. So your weekend only has that tiny rain chance late in the day tomorrow.